Mark Bullock is one of the most passionate, committed and dedicated people that I've ever met in my life. Mark is the uh, ITF wheelchair tennis manager and it's a really, really wide role. He um, manages a worldwide tour, the Davis Cup or Federation Cup for wheelchair tennis. And of course every four years we have the Paralympic tennis competition which is huge and, and you know requires immense organisation. I got to know Mark as a fellow student within the School of Economics. Mark's idea in his dissertation was really to look at how economics could, under, could explain and understand the way in which we could promote tennis and the way he went about it you thought hang on he's got something here. The main time I got to know him was when we served as sabbaticals for the student union. Mark was athletic union president. He um, brought together these interests in um, sport and excellence at sport, but also with um, being with all different types of people. I think Mark's very driven and he's very passionate about um, wheelchair tennis particularly. I think that's kind of been his career path from when he left the university. He was a tennis development officer at the tennis centre and then he kind of developed his skills from there. Mark got into wheelchair tennis coaching um, locally here uh, in Nottingham and uh, eventually he hooked up with uh, Britain's number one wheelchair tennis player giant mystery. Mark was a great coach for me not only did he understand the game um, in terms of the other players but he also understood me and what I needed to do and how to move me on to the next stages. He would not only coach me on his feet but he would get in the chair as well so to have that kind of empathy from a coach was really really important to me and then after that he went on to become national coach uh, so he went to the Atlanta Paralympics. He uh, went on to uh, be wheelchair tennis development officer at the ITF, which we all knew was always his great passion. Well, the ITF wanted to celebrate 25 years of wheelchair tennis, so we set up a thing called the Silver Fund. He used to just go to various uh, developing countries and just introduce them to the sport of wheelchair tennis. Mark initiated many of those programmes going into a country to set up not only just coaching programmes but to make sure that the infrastructure was there so that there was sustainability. The number of air miles you must have must be astronomical. Many of the Silver Fund countries are now you know, coming up to the top level within the sport. He's the type of person who never counts the hours in the day or the week uh, and will work round the clock. Um, although he now has a wife who can actually uh, say, hey, hang on, put that Blackberry away. I'm so proud of him, you know, like, he's very perfectionist, you know, he try always to be the best. He, it's, uh, it's something that's nice for his job, but he's a very workaholic. He try hard to be always his best. The outstanding thing that comes over with Mark is his commitment, his uh, energy, I guess it's, he's very, have a lot of determination and, and patience. Have you got one second? To persuade some people to play wheelchair tennis does take an incredibly long time. And so that part of uh, Mark's work, which was development up here, was development first at the ITF and now as the ITF wheelchair tennis manager um, is really, really important. He's very approachable, very friendly, very helpful. He is a, a, certainly a type of person who can get on with a wide range of people and seeing the best in people. It's that care of people that makes Mark so special. <laughs> it just seems that every time we meet we just talk about something or other to do with wheelchair tennis and, and how the game's progressing, how it's developing and it just appears that, that that's his life and he loves it. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Bullock. Thank you, Matthew. Um, I thought, as someone else said, I was prepared for the speech, but uh, having seen that video, uh, it's made me quite emotional. And I was actually there when most of that was taken, so... Uh, <laughs> um, I had an inkling something was going on, but nowhere near as much as that. Um, as other people have said, it's a great honour to be receiving this award tonight. Um, I owe a huge gratitude of uh, thanks to the university for uh, starting off my career, um, to Vaughan Williams, who uh, was a sad loss um, a year or so ago, um, but he was a huge part of getting me on my career um, when I was Athletic Union President. Um, as you know, I was an economics graduate. Um, I have to be careful what I say about that, as the Vice-Chancellor was one of my lecturers. 
I didn't go to most of the lectures, um, but I also organised useful things like the six-legged pub crawl through the city, um, which is a, a useful skill that I'm still using. Um, but I'd like to, uh, first of all, thank uh, my wife, uh, my family, um, my mum and my sister are here tonight. Um, as I say, I crack up the air miles, so it's great that they can be part of something that I'm doing, because I'm very rarely in the country. Um, so thanks very much. Um, and to Tim Reddish in particular. Um, Tim, who's here tonight, many of you will know, Paralympic champion, uh, currently chairman of the British Paralympic Association on the LOCOG board. He was the guy that really got me inspired to be involved in disability tennis. Um, and I think, Tim, I now realise that with you and other colleagues, we were doing things in Nottingham back in the early 90s that are not happening really today in some of the things that we were doing in terms of inclusion and integration of people with a disability into sport. So, Tim, thank you very much. Um, some other people that are here tonight as well. Um, Hugh White, who was uh, my boss when I was working with Tim. So, Hugh, thanks for the flexibility and allowing me uh, to coach wheelchair tennis in my job um, and to travel around the world working predominantly with Giant, who, after I coaching, went on to be a Wimbledon champion. So I can't take the credit for that. Um, but Giant was hugely instrumental in my career. Um, he was the guy that really helped me. I travelled around the world with him, and I think I was more the student, um, and he was the tutor, uh, because I knew nothing about wheelchair tennis when I started. Also, John Wildman, uh, who was my... Uh, boss when I was manager of the Nottingham Tennis Centre. Uh, John, I still use many of the little tips and things that you told me when I was in that role. Um, and thank you for having the confidence to even appoint me in that role, because um, I know there were some doubters when I came from being a tennis coach to managing one of the biggest tennis centres in the country. And finally, once again, to thank the university for the lead that they are taking in disability sport with the appointment of Hannah Weber as a Disability Sports Officer. It's great to see that the University are, are leading the way in this field. Uh, and if there's any way that I can help, or I'm sure some of the colleagues around the, our table can help, we'd be delighted to do so. And once again, thank you very much.